you want to find out the price and more information about these products, you can check out the links down in the description and the comment section below. Also, if you could win one of these mice, which one would it be? Leave your reply in the comment section below. Ok, so let's get started with the video. At number 5 we have the Logitech G402. Logitech has had a long and enviable history in the gaming mouse market and has proven itself to be one of the best manufacturers in the market by providing quality and nothing less. The G402 is special in the sense that its sensor can track upwards of 420 inches per second. If you stop and think about this, you will realize what this mouse is capable of doing. The G402 Hyperion Fury may look simple at its first glance, but under the hood it delivers great performance. FPS gamers require a mouse with a very specific set of features, which don't necessarily correspond with the all-purpose or MMO mice. FPS titles call for a minimalist aesthetic and the on-the-fly sensitivity adjustment features, which this mouse does have. Aesthetically, there's a lot to like about the G402's angular design. It's a mix of jutting plastic and rubber padding that feels downright wonderful to use. The mouse is long and low to the ground, letting a player's hand rest easily across the whole device. Not only is this ideal for players who use a palm grip, but it also provides plenty of resting space for claw grip players. The G402 features 8 buttons, all of which can be easily programmed to do anything you want. They are placed strategically all over the mouse so you can easily reach all of them. You can fully adjust this mouse using the Logitech gaming software. On it, you can adjust lighting for the G logo, choose up to 5 DPI settings between 240 and 4000 and program a shift DPI for when you hold down the sniper button so you can get more precise mouse movement in small intervals whenever you need it. While it may not be the most attractive gaming mouse on the market, the Logitech G402 Hyperion Fury absolutely delivers where it matters. It's really comfortable to use and it performs superbly. So, if you are looking for a mouse that can perform outstandingly well on FPS games, the G402 is your answer. Next up, at number 4 we have the BenQ Zoe FK2. Everyone grips the mouse differently, so how can one mouse work for all? sizes and shapes for your options. Pick the one that fits your grip for long-lasting comfort and gameplay. With driverless design, you just plug and play. The Zoe FK2 is one of the most popular gaming mice amongst pro players and there is a reason why. The FK2 has the same specifications as Zoe's own FK1, but it houses in a smaller body, one that just happens to match the shape and weight of the original FK. This means it is both small and light. In fact, at 85 grams, it's one of the lightest mice on the market, so hand fatigue is unlikely to ever be an issue. The FK2's build quality is remarkably good, with the plastic body being very solid indeed despite the low weight. The matte black surface is slightly grainy, leaving it smooth enough to be comfortable but not so much that you can get a good grip on. What I love the most about this mouse is that the design is very minimalist with no unnecessary buttons or LEDs and that makes the mouse well suited to FPS types or those who prefer to have macros bound to their keyboard instead so you will be free of distractions. This specific model is aimed towards people with smaller hands, so if you are someone who has large hands you should take a look at the FK1 or FK1+. Plus. The FK2 uses the Avago 3310 optical sensor and its performance is excellent. When using this mouse, you will not experience any acceleration at all and little to no jitter which is what you should look for when purchasing a FPS gaming mouse. What most people don't like about this mouse is that the DPI switch is under the mouse, but I don't think that this is a huge problem because I doubt anyone would want to switch the DPI in the middle of the game. Using the button under the mouse, you can switch between 400, 800, 1600 and 3200 DPI. If you are looking for a mouse that has a minimalistic design but is powerful under the hood, then the Zoe FK2 should be your answer. It has everything you need if you don't like fancy RGB lights and other useless features. Next up, at number 3 we have the SteelSeries Sensei 310.
the Steel Series Sensei is easily one of the most underrated mice on the market because it features a sleek design, excellent software and full ambidextrous support, which is more than a lot of newer mice can do. Sensei 310 is a mouse that has two sets of thumb buttons, RGB backlighting, a clickable scroll wheel and a DPI adjuster in the center. It's also very comfortable to hold in your hand. The thumb buttons themselves are compact and easy to differentiate, while the silicone grip beneath each one helps keep your fingers comfortable and in the proper place. The Sensei 310 runs on the SteelSeries Engine 3 software, which is one of the best and easiest programs out there for controlling gaming peripherals. Using the engine, you can reprogram buttons, create individual game profiles, adjust the DPI, control the RGB lightning and more. It's not strictly necessary to use the software, but it would be a plus to have it, because it makes everything much easier. The best thing about this mouse is that it can be used by both left and right handed people equally well. The Sensei 310 is incredibly comfortable for either hand, especially thanks to the double silicone grips. At around 3.2 ounces, it's also light enough for use in esports, which may be enough to help lefties break into the scene. The Sensei 310 is an excellent mouse in every game type, especially in first person shooter games like CSGO. It's very accurate, and if you are a skilled player, headshots will be your daily thing now. The only thing I don't like about this mouse is the rubber cable. I personally hate rubber cables on gaming mice, because they tend to get tangled a lot when the mouse is new, but this shouldn't be a huge problem for you. Overall, it's a nice mouse with a lot of features you can take advantage of, and I would definitely recommend it to you. Moving on, at number 2 we have the Razer Deathadder Elite. This all-purpose gaming mouse retains the sleek, ergonomic design and RGB lighting of its processors while adding two small buttons beneath an improved scroll wheel. This model is significantly better than the mouse that inspired it and is still a comfortable, easy-to-use option for stay-at-home adventurers. Instead of five, there are seven buttons on the Death Adder model. There's the left button, a right button, a clickable scroll wheel, two thumb buttons and two buttons just beneath the scroll wheel. The two buttons on the face of this mouse are new, they're comfortable and particularly useful if you want to adjust the DPI and sensitivity on the fly. The Death Adder Elite runs on the Razer Zenimp 2.0 software. This easy to navigate interface lets you program buttons, create profiles and link them with games. You can also alter the RGB lightning, calibrate the mouse for different surfaces, adjust the DPI and mess with all sorts of other settings. The bottom of the Elite features two oversized Teflon feet above and below the all-new 5G optical sensor which boasts a DPI range that stretches from 100 DPI all the way up to 16,000 DPI in 100 DPI increments, as well as 99.4% resolution accuracy and tracking speeds of 450 inches per second, so basically there's no unusual jitter, no angle snapping and no skipping. The Razer Death Adder Elite is an excellent gaming mouse that works phenomenally for day-to-day -to -day work too. It's not that expensive and offers good value against its competitors, so you can easily say that it's a very good mouse that can do almost everything. To finish off our list, at number 1 we have the BenQ Zoe EC2A. The Zoe EC2A is BenQ's first right-handed gaming mouse aimed at eSports, available in two sizes and two colors, black and white. The EC2A features a 3200 DPI sensor, a sleek, ergonomic design suitable for claw or palm grip types, a glossy white coating and a four-color scroll wheel. This model has two versions, EC1A and EC2A. They are technically identical, the only difference between them is size, with being the EC2A the smaller one. I have tested both and I think that the EC2A will be the correct one for most of you, unless you have really large hands. The black version is not an eye-catching mouse. It has a simple design, matte black surface with a red logo and the LED light for the scroll with four colors to indicate different DPI steps. You will not like it if you want something with fancy LED lights with thousands of colors to display. However, if you want to become a professional FPS gamer, you won't care about these things. 
The mouse is very well built. Despite of its lightweight, it feels very durable and high quality. And even after using it for a long time, the surface will always look the same because the material used to design it, it is pretty high quality. It is a LAN ready plug and play mouse. Hence, you don't need a fancy software to get everything up and running like the Razer mouses. It is basically set and forget, and this is extremely convenient when you play on LAN. Most of the pros that play CSGO prefer to use the Zoe EC2A over all of other mice on the market, and I can clearly see why. There are 4 DPI steps for you to choose from, 400, 800, 1600 and 3200, and this is honestly all that you need for competitive gaming. Designed by gamers for gamers, Zoe really put their thoughts onto the product. In my opinion, this is one of the best gaming mice today and you should definitely check it out and I don't think that you can find anything better than this mouse in this price range, so I would definitely recommend it to everyone. Thank you for watching guys, I hope you liked this video, if you wanna find out the price and more information about this mice, you can check out the links down in the description and the comment section below, and if you have any questions related to them, leave a comment down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.